dear students welcome to my channel topic of this video is parser and in this video i am going to explain role of parsers words and words group that is constituency types of parser in nlp and parsing ambiguity now let us start a parser in nlp is a critical component that analyzes the grammatical structure of sentence it arranges words into specific group such as nouns verbs and phrases it breaks down a sentence into its constituent parts like nouns verb and phrases to understand syntactic relationship between them parsing is essential for various nlp task such as machine translation information extraction and question answering system part of switch tagging removes lexical ambiguity while parser try to remove the syntax ambiguity for example based on the rules designed for a particular parser it will accept the sentence it will uh, if that particular sentence follow that parser rule so it tries to remove maximum syntax ambiguity syntax it refers to the way in which words are arranged together to form a sentence it involves rule that governs the structure of sentence and how words are combined to convey meaning relationship between the words and word group this is very important for from parser point of view parsing finds out the relationship between the various word and word groups that is nothing but constituency within a sentence it determines how words depends on each other identifying the grammatical functions such as subject verb object relationship and modifiers so it will be clear with the example now we will see the example of word and word groups that is nothing but constituency words are nothing but individual words in a sentence each playing a specific grammatical role for example noun these are the example of noun then verbs then adjective adverb pronoun preposition and conjunction so these are nothing but the variety types of words we are using in a language so this is the specifically for english language now word group or constituency cluster of words that function together as a single unit within a sentence and this is very important because every parser find out the word group to determine the syntactic relationship between the words of depict between the different words for a sentence so here noun phrase the quick brown fox so this is a noun phrase so we can see that here this is a noun that is noun is there after that adjective then adverb and this is nothing but determiner a small bug the green grasshopper the book so the variety types of ways in which the noun phrase is formed so we require to write down the rule in such a way that for example if we want to find out the noun phrase from a sentence then such type of combination can be possible next is the verb phrase chase the cat be friends the frog and finds the work so verb phrase form starts with the verb and after that again there is a combination of noun phrase so we can think of that vp can be vp and np next is the prepositional phase in the garden on the leaf at the pond so when it starts with the particular preposition that is nothing but the preposition adjective phrase like very quick extremely small quite green then adverb very quickly rather slowly and next is a conjunction phrase so we require to uh, define this different type of phrase and we require to use these phrases uh to find out or to make a uh, rules for a parser so that the parser will check the sentence syntactic relation and either accept or reject the statement types of parser in nlp dependency parser focus on relationship between the words creating a tree structure where each node represents a word and each represent the syntactic dependencies this all this will be clear with the example next is a constituency parser emphasizes the hierarchical structure of sentence breaking them down into nested constituents and representing this structure in a parse tree top down parser starts from the highest level rule and break down into its component bottom up parser exactly works in opposite way begin with the input that is final words which are present in a sentence and gradually construct the parse tree by combining the components into high level structure so it will start directly with the word and after that it converts into the particular phrases and based on that it will go in the upward direction now see the example of dependency parser 
Dependency parser analyzes the relationship between the words. For example, the cat chases the mouse. So here, the relationship is between cat and mouse, and that relationship is nothing but the chase. So chases cat, cat chases the mouse. Constituency parser. The constituency parser breaks sentence into nested phrase. For example, here, two phrases are there: the cat and chases the mouse. So basically, this is the noun phrase and this is the verb phrase. Now the cat. So this is nothing but NP. NP is nothing but the cat, in which the is determiner and cat is the noun. After that, it starts with the VP, that is the verb phrase, and in which first is the VBZ, that is nothing but the verb. VBZ is nothing but the verb, which is in present tense and third person singular. That's why it is comes as S is added. So it is nothing but VBZ. Then after that, this the is nothing but again VP. I have already told that VP is always starts with the verb, but after that, most of the time there is a noun phrases there. So VP formed by VP and NP. So first VP completes, and after that NP starts. So again NP that is nothing but the mouse, and here the is nothing but determiner, and mouse is nothing nothing but again comes in the under the category of noun. Now top down parsing. Top down parsing starts from the highest level rule. Example for this same example, it starts with the recursively breakdown into NP and VP. So it will start with the S. S will break into NP into VP. NP again break into determiner and nominal. Then the determiner converts to the term. The that is nothing but the. Uh, basically, this is the terminal. Then after that, nominal is variety type of combination because multiple nouns can be possible. So various types of rules are there for nominal. So nominal. converts to the noun and noun to the cat then vp vp is verb and plus np vp verb a uh, chases comes under the verb and again np and in this way it will goes from top to bottom and in bottom of parsing exactly opposite things takes place bottom of parsing builds up from the input tokens so for example cyk algorithm we are going to see this algorithm again, uh, in future videos so in that we start with the words and directly and from that we are making the phrases and after that we are going to the upward direction any verb comes before the noun phrase it makes a verb phrase so it is clear from this previous example and determiner noun phrase becomes a noun phrase even determiner adjective adverb again after that noun again becomes a noun phrase so variety type of combinations are there now next important is parsing ambiguity parsing ambiguity refers to the phenomena where a single sentence can have multiple valid parse trees and this is possible even we design a very good parser because whenever we design a rules for the parser that rule should be unambiguous when rules are unambiguous at that time we can say that the whatever the parse tree become for a sentence is unique but when our grammar is not uh is ambiguous at that time the multiple meanings can be happen for that particular sentence each representing a different syntactic interpretation this is especially common in nlp due to the inherent complexity and flexibility of human language as sentence grow in length and complexity the number of possible parses can increase dramatically demonstrating an explosive explosive growth in the ambiguity now see the example for example i saw the man with the telescope so for this simple statement the two parse tree can be generated i saw the man on the hill with the telescope the five parse tree can be generated so we will see the uh, example with the visual presentation so you will get the clear because as a number of uh, words are increasing the meanings gets change and therefore the five parse trees can be possible for this simple sentence I saw the man on the hill in Texas with the telescope 14 parses. I saw the man on the hill in Texas with the telescope at noon 42 parses and for this simple line 132 parse tree can be generated and which is nothing but what explosive growth in ambiguity and this number is called Catalan number. Now see we will see this for this example I saw the man on the hill with the telescope that is five parses. Now see <clears throat> i saw the man the man was on the hill i was using the telescope so this is the one meaning that is i saw the man on the hill with the telescope so i saw the man the man is on the hill and i was using a telescope so this is the one meaning there was a man 
on hill whom i am watching and he has telescope this is the second meaning i saw the man the man was on the hill the hill had a telescope that can be also possible next is i saw the man i was on the hill and i was using the telescope because the statement statements are not clear the whatever the statement is according to the grammatical rules still the variety types of meaning can be possible i saw the man i was on the wheel and the hill had a telescope so variety types of ways are there so when the uh, we generate uh, that is for a particular sentence the multiple parser can be generated so the efficient parser is such a that for a given sentence it should generate actually the unique parse tree the exponential increase in the number of possible parses as sentence become more complex highlight the challenge of syntactic ambiguity in nlp parser must efficiently manage this ambiguity to generate the correct parse tree for accurate language understanding advanced parsing techniques and algorithms such as probabilistic context free grammar that is nothing but pcfg and machine learning based parser are often employed to handle this complexity by assigning the probabilities to different parse trees and selecting the most likely one so these are the references for this presentation now in this video i have given the introduction on the parser in the next video i am going to explain how to model the constituency what are the types of parser that is bottom up and top down parser in detail and after that for designing the parser we require the context free grammar and and we generally take that grammar in chomsky normal form that is nothing but the cna form so in the next video i am going to explain the mentioned topic thank you